You know I love you, right? <laughs> Hello, nurse. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi 14 Pro, which is currently only available in China. As you see here, docked and playing nicely through the television and the screen. So the, the specs that you're seeing for the phone here are from uh, ETA Prime's video. He did a really great job going over the benchmarks for the phone and also some emulation. So check the description down below. I'll have links to his videos. Okay, so let's jump on to the phone here. This is Yuzu uh, with the new uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. Uh, I have uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I don't think that that matters all that much. Uh, this is the latest build of Yuzu, which is uh, really important. I downloaded this on December 25th. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is the GitHub page where you can get the latest, most up-to-date version, which is important. Three weeks ago, this was not working at all. So let's jump into uh, Smash Brothers. And now just to show you, I am using a controller, but you can, of course, uh, set up a controller overlay. Uh, you know, by that it means like, there you go, you can, now you can see the controller buttons on the screen there. So if you wanted to use that, and you can, uh, you know, make it as big, you can make the buttons as big or as small as you would like them to be. But of course, I am going to be using a controller for this. So I'm just going to turn that all the way down there. Uh, okay, and let's get into some Smash here. Now, another thing to note here is that you're going to notice that I have uh, unlocked all of the characters. Uh, the reason that uh, that is true is because I went to a website and I'm going to... Uh, put that up on the screen here now and uh, Yeah, I'll put a link to that down in the description But I was able to download a save file from this website. I had to give them my email So I don't know if you how you feel about that Okay, so something to note here is you might notice a little bit of hiccuping or it might be a little bit stuttering the the game does learn so it does the performance here is going to improve the more you play. Now I'm absolutely terrible at this game here and I'm also recording this video here so I'm not really focused too much on what's going on here but eh, it seems to be doing okay so far. Oh yeah you see there. So again uh, and the more you play the better the performance is going to get. Now if you're looking to play like a smaller title something like uh, Dave the Diver, you're going to get really great performance here. In fact, you know, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn my settings uh, back up here and I'm going to boost the graphics up to 1080p because I don't think uh, Dave the Diver is going to have any trouble with that. Uh, you can make small adjustments with the emulator if you feel as though uh, just things are not working, uh, you've got some kind of slowdown or screen tearing. All right, yeah, so this is a, this was one of those like sort of indie games of the year kind of darlings. Uh, really, really good game. Lots of fun. Again, again I haven't played that much of this. Okay, we'll see treasures down here. Let's open it up, see what we got. Okay. All right, so anyway, that is the Dave the Diver. Uh, here we got uh, Arkham City. I think it's the best Batman game. And uh, 
See that there? That's telling me uh, that oh, that game is definitely not going to run at 1080p. So I'm going to have to uh, lower the resolution down for that one. And now uh, I should be able to get it to go here. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. And again, you know, being to able to play this uh, on your phone, that's, you know, come on, that's, that's just, that's pretty amazing, guys. All right, so, whoa, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. All right, here we go. Ooh. goons here nice so yeah this is definitely playable uh, lots of fun again my favorite backband game of all time and you know to be able to have it on my phone pull it out play it anywhere this is absolutely awesome guys uh, yeah really happy about that Big finish. Nice. Uh, as you saw there, you know, uh, it wasn't going to play in full 1080p, so I did have to lower the resolution to get that to work. Now, of course, you might be interested in Hogwarts Legacy, and yeah, no, this is not working right now. But as I said, they, they update this emulator daily, and at this point, I think playing these Switch games, it's really not about how powerful my phone is. It's more about the emulator and what the emulator can do right now. And they keep making improvements to it uh, every day. So, you know, hopefully they're going to get this game uh, up and running. But you can see what, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Whoops. Yeah, not looking good here. <laughs> And uh, sometimes it will kind of boot into the, the menus, but yeah, you can barely read that. Not looking good. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, it looks like it's going a little bit past, but eventually it is going to, to crash. Yeah, so that uh, I don't believe that that screen should be... Uh, uh, and there we go. Whoop! Crash to desktop. So there it is. So Hogwarts Legacy not working. Also, oddly, Pokemon Arceus also not working and Animal Crossing not working on Yuzu. Kick those settings back up to 1080p. Just a little bump in resolution. It does make a, a it does make a sizable difference in terms of like you know what you're seeing on the screen here. But yeah, so uh, you can also kind of set up here. Uh, you can also add. Uh, frame counter so you can get a chance to see you know the frames per second here so yeah i'm gonna spend a little bit more time with this game and this is this is fun and this is a uh, it looks great and it plays just uh, it plays really well on the emulator another game that uh, i was not able to get to work was uh pikmin 4 but pikmin 3 uh, i have been able to get to work uh, it seems to run just well but there you go that's what you see there that's look at the water and the foliage and everything and now if I drop out of this and I go in and I uh, switch it down to like you know a lower resolution so yeah what happened to my water what happened to my leaves guys again let's go back here let's jump up let's Yeah, so there you go. Look at the the water and the reflection there. Absolutely a significantly better experience. Now, again, as I said, it kind of hiccups here a little bit uh, uh, when you get started here. Okay, so yeah, but this game, uh, when you're in the game, plays uh, really well. Uh, now, a few other things that I wanted to uh, show off here 
is uh, is this one here. Check this out, guys. Uh, yes. This is something that I think is really impressive. Yeah, look at this, guys. This game is ordinarily only playable on the Switch in Japanese. Yeah, this is Trails of Coal Steel Part 1. Part 3 and 4 are available to play in English, but 1 and 2 currently are only available in uh, Japanese for some weird reason. I believe that they will come eventually to the Switch in English, but for now, you know, this is the only way to play this game in English, is either through emulation or using a hacked Switch. Now, there's a really great website, I'm showing it to you right now, and I'm going to put a link down in the description that details all of the games on the Switch that currently have either official or fan translations for them. So these are games that you couldn't play on your Switch otherwise. And this is a great, great series of games, and it plays really well on the Switch. Looks fantastic on the OLED screen that I have on my phone. Yeah, really fun. I'm looking forward to, to getting into this game. Uh, I've played about 12 hours, I think, on uh, Steam before. But uh, I was using a really old computer at the time, and it was kind of chugging. And yeah, I'm getting much better performance out of uh, my phone right now. So, you know, the ability to, again, play this game uh, on the go, fantastic, guys. So, yeah. This is uh, from the creators uh, of uh, the super highly acclaimed uh, house in Fata Morgana. Uh, this is a, a, a visual novel uh, which has been, uh, this is the English translation patch, which again, this game is not available in English on the Nintendo Switch. So once again, the only way to, to play these games. Now, I, I'm a big fan of visual novels. I, I think that they're fantastic. And let me tell you that uh, they emulate really well. You can really max things out here, so you can like you can set it into dock mode. Uh, let's even try. Let's see. I'm gonna try and bounce this up here even higher. So uh, you know, there's no yeah, go for it. Just you can really pump up the resolution, make the game look fantastic. Yeah. So as you can see, looks great. Looks fantastic. Looking forward to jumping into this uh, game. Uh, it's a super highly rated visual novel and again you know um, I have a MacBook so I'm unable to play this game on my MacBook it's the only computer that I have and otherwise uh, you know I I'm unable to to play this it is available on Steam and you can get it to for Windows but uh, as of now uh, it is unplayable on uh, Mac OS, and the Switch version uh, is only in Japanese, and it is not on any other console. Games that you otherwise would not be able to play uh, because they don't have English translations are playable. There are even some uh, uh, hacks uh, that allow you to play games at higher frame rates. The ability to download save files for games so that you can unlock playable characters. If you're looking to play smaller indie titles or retro games, then of course, you know, this thing's going to play those like a champ. Here's Potion Permit, which is a really great game. Uh, I've also added... You know, the update for the game, along with all of these DLC packs uh, for it as well. So, yes, you can update the games. Yes, you can add DLC onto the games. This is a really fun game. I highly recommend it. This is like a farm simulator type game without farming. So, if you 
like Animal Crossing or you like Stardew Valley, but you, you don't really like managing a farm in those games. You just like the social interaction and the quests part of it. Yeah, this game is for you. Absolutely. There we go. Of course, his name is Alan. Right, so. There we go. Yeah, that's my little guy there. Okay, so again, if you're looking to play kind of smaller titles like this, then you're going to really get, uh, you're going to really get a lot of mileage out of it. All right, so the biggest sort of drawback to this phone right now is that it doesn't have a productivity mode. Now, a productivity mode is something that some Android tablets have where you can plug it into your TV or your monitor and then it will recognize that monitor and then it will adjust to the monitor's aspect ratio. This does not do that. So, uh, for example, here, uh, we're going to unpause this here. You can see how on the phone, the game has black bars on the side. Well, those black bars also transition to the TV. So it does not upscale to your TV. You end up having these borders all the way around your game. Now, you can... I'm going to adjust this in real time here. You can go into the graphics setting here and uh, you can adjust uh, how you want it done here. So stretch the window, force 21 by 9. This is a new, actually new one that I think they've just added in a recent update. But yeah, so now you can see it's taking up the entire phone's real estate. It doesn't look too bad on the phone, but you can really see how the image has been sort of stretched out when you're looking at it on a TV. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like the content, please like the video, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or you'd like to see anything else in a future video, please leave a comment down below. Also, there are links in the description to some of the pages that I talked about here. And I will see you 